Well, hello. Welcome. Today we're going to talk about something serious, research and visualizing research. We're going to look at ways that you can explore what you know and what you don't know yet. I'm going to do this by showing you my PhD research I did at the art school and talk you through ways you can visualize your research literally and ways you can visualize your research more creatively. So let's get started. So when I did my PhD research, it was all about objects because I really love objects and painting them and making artworks about them. But my question was, you know, what is it about these objects that I like so much? Why am I drawn to these objects and not other objects? So I had to start somewhere. So I decided to research my objects by drawing them. This meant I could spend some time with them, observe them and really get to know them. I tried to connect my memories to the object. So if it was something that belonged to my mom or my sister, or was it something that I got when I was on holiday? Um, or was it from a special place? Or was it connected to an event? And these are things that I noted about the object while I drew it. Then I made a blog, which is here. By making a blog, I was able to collect all my data in one spot and then analyze it. What was it about these objects that was so interesting to me? Why were some more important to me than others? And what did it all mean? What did I find out? Hmm. I found out that some things were just really significant because of the connection they had to people or places or events in my life. And other objects I just liked for their formal qualities, which is the material they were made out of, the colour, the shape, or the size. And after I made the blog, I made more artworks. I made some drawings. And what I did was I collected all the objects that belonged to me and I made what I called a taxonomy of me. So it was kind of like a portrait of me. I made a portrait of my mum through her objects one of my daughter and one of my son and, um, and my husband and my grandparents. So I, I ended up being more creative by um, thinking of different ways I could put these objects together. So I made this series of paintings. After I made these paintings, I made books. So I took the paintings, oh, my camera's moving down, and I turned them into little books. So um, each book is, has got its own title. It's like the taxonomy of me. And then it's got all of my images inside that little book. So what I was doing was taking, taking my research and then trying to present it in different ways and experimenting to see what was more effective. So I think the thing here is don't just think the fir your first idea is the best idea. Just keep on trying out new things and experimenting. Now we're going to look at ways I made more creative responses, less literal. So not just drawing what was in front of me, not observational drawing, but thinking a little bit more creatively. Let's have a look at this artwork. So these were towers that I made out of fabrics and I stitched them all together and you could go inside them and um, the idea for me was about home. So I was trying to express my ideas of connection and place and people by making these little towers that were kind of like cubby houses um, but made of things from the home. So it was important the material they were made out of and I wanted to, the scale was important. I wanted them to feel kind of, kind of big and grand because they were tall, but kind of cozy as well. So they were narrow. Um, yeah. So I hope that 
that's helpful. Now, you can think about ways you can visualise research. It can be literal. You can be taking the research that you've, you've collected and drawing it or painting it or representing it in a way that is showing exactly what you've discovered. Or you can take a more creative response and take the research that you've gathered and distill it into something else to make it your creative response. So just because my towers were 3D sculptures, it doesn't mean that your creative response has to be three-dimensional. It can be anything that you want.